Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little um, eye makeup um, look <clears throat> from this little palette that got in the post. Um, it only cost me £1.77. Um, it's very flimsy packaging, but the colours are all matte and they are such nice colours. They're really, really soft. They're quite pigmented. They blend really well. And these are just a few. Do I just do that one? No. Few of the shades. They're mostly, well, they are mostly browns. Shades of browns. And this one colour, the burgundy shade here. And we've got a black. We've got a peachy colour. Um, like a, a, a bony shade and there's a white um, I saw it and I quite liked the fact that it was all matte and I thought I don't know what it's going to be like <laughs> and so it's one of those sort of oh I'll try it you know £1.77 it's not that bad I'm pleasantly surprised um, I've done one eye to save time and I'll zoom you in and you can oops and you can have a look. I've took you off the top. And that's what I came up with. Um from this palette. It's really quite pretty. I mean the, the, the burgundy shade is lovely. So we will seem to have um bit low down my camera I'm just going to move my camera up a fraction that's it you to excuse the sniffing I've got such a runny nose I think it's cold outside so I, I hate sniffing <laughs> there we go pull in there I think I'm just going to put my fringe up out the way if I can find my little oh the palette came in this little black box as well. Oh, what have I done? oh, it's there. It is. So I'll put my fringe out the way. Oh, and I'm going to use the Revolution um, Radiance palette as well today. Right. Um, I have used. Yeah, you know, I've got to stop saying um. Really annoying myself. I must annoy the heck out of you lot as well. I must put my lamp in in the corner. I have used my Stay Don't Stray primer and I used the white from this palette to um, dust it off. So we're going to use in the crease to start with I'm going to put, I've written it down so I can remember, um, this shade at the bottom first straight into the crease Oops, nearly dropped it. So we're just going on to a normal, my usual normal fluffy brush. So we're just going to go just in there. I'm going to take this colour higher because I'm going to put another colour a little bit darker, a little bit lower down. Got my wrong mirror, excuse me. That's better. Sorry about that. Just blend that into there. I'm going to get a blending brush, a fluffy blending brush, and just blend that out a little bit.
Can you see how pigmented these, these shades are? So, so nice. And I'm going to add a smaller brush and I'm going to go into the this colour here which is slightly light, it's quite a bit darker and just take that on that smaller brush and put that lower into the crease Work those two together. Just keep blending, using this brush as a blender as well. Do two bows with one stone. Ah, and look what I have done. I haven't put on my shadow shield. A little bit of fallout there. Not too much, considering I was blending at the same time. Pop that up there. Yeah, because these really do work. I'm really, really pleased with these shields. and rub off this blending brush and give it another blend. Right, excuse me, I need to blow. Sorry about that. Clean tissue. Alright, and then we are going to go with a flat shading brush and we're going to take the burgundy shade in the middle, which is that one there, and we're going to pack that onto the lid. I left the inner tiny bit in the corner free from this colour. Sorry, my crack, jaw cracked. I don't know if you heard that there. So when I work that up to the crease. So, and then I need to put a little bit more of this blending, you know, the, the crease colour up a little because I have taken it quite a way up so you could see it above. And then we'll go into the darker colour and I did bring that down the bottom there a little bit like that and I need to pack on some more of the colour if you look that is quite a bit darker on that side I got this, did I say I got this from eBay? I was just sewing there, I mooched through and I came across this. I was actually looking at BH Cosmetics and this popped up um, in the list of cosmetics that was being, you know, I was looking through. Um, and then 
on the brow bone I used a little bit of this, this colour here and we'll do that I could actually have done with using the white really I think um, it's just a tiny bit dark I should have probably put a little bit of the white over the top of that just to light it up a little bit and we'll go in the other side and do that as well I just noticed that I need to take this lid colour out at the corner a little bit. I've pulled it out a little bit there. Just give that a different sort of shape there. Right. On the inner corner I used the white. Lost my brush, there we go. Let me just wipe this brush off because it had some of the darker colour on. So I popped the white on the inner. I'm going to add a little bit of um, brightness with the uh, highlighter radiance um, palette. And then I went in with a very small angled. Um, liner brush with the black. I'm going to wipe some of that off of there. So I picked up some of the black and then very carefully smudged that along the lash line as a liner. I wanted to keep it a little bit softer along here. I didn't want to use a pencil. Smudge that along. Only thing is, when I do this, it tends to transfer into my bottom waterline, so I end up with a, a bit of a smudgy waterline, which is a bit unfortunate. But it'll be okay. There you go. You just get a little bit of a smudgy, smudgy effect there. Um, and then I am going to, with this Pantone Universe palette, there is a similar colour here and it has a little tiny bit of shimmer or a sheen to it. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of that on the outer corner. Um, just a small amount. Just to the outer corner. You can't tell very much but I just thought it lifted it a little bit. And then I'm going to use my eyelash curlers and curl my lashes. Well, we'll take this off now. Oh. really curls my lashes quite well and then we're going to go in with the Essence Lash Base <coughs> <coughs> sorry just blocked you out didn't I? I'm just checking to make sure that both sides look somewhat the same I hope they do it's only trouble doing it this way that uh, 
you can often um, they don't look the same shape or they're not the same shade of colour. <laughs> some primer on there. If you haven't tried this primer you should really give give it a go because um, I think it really is a good primer. Um, the mascara I'm going to use is, oh I just blinked, I just might have got that underneath my eye feels like I have, is the rim, the mascara I'm going to wear is the Rimmel Wonderful mascara with argon oil and it's the extreme black this is not waterproof so I'm then going to put another mascara on over the top so just coat those lashes and try and get all the white covered And just wriggle that in and then bring it up to the end of your lashes. I've got a gap in my lashes, um, a couple of lashes fall out but they are growing back and you hate when that happens. Looks like I've got a couple missing just there as well, I don't know if you can see. But my lashes, since I've been using this mascara and the lash base, um, my, my lashes have been so much better. And then the waterproof mascara I'm going to use on top of that is the Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara. And just coat. That mascara I've just put on. There is a mas I think I've said this before. There is a, mas a waterproof mascara in the uh, argon oil one, but I didn't feel that um, it worked as well. powder underneath my eye and I've just caught my mascara you see just dragged it with the brush I'm gonna leave that until it dries and move it that way so you know I can't get everything in <laughs> Nothing's changed, but I can't seem to get everything in today. Um, right, how are we doing? Uh, smudged it even more. Oh, look, give it a wipe. You shouldn't do this, you'd leave it. I just want to do my under eye area. You should leave, if you smudge any mascara anywhere, you should leave it and then sort it out when it's dry by either, either using a cotton bud or the edge of your nail and gently um, like scratch it away, very carefully scratch it away. Right, um, on my under eye I'm going to get another brush. Hmm. Right, I've got another slanted brush. Just another slanted brush, and I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up the um, the burgundy colour from this matte palette, and pop that underneath my eye. Take it up to the corner. Pop that 
underneath. Trying to darken it up. I don't want to use any black underneath. I just want to use this colour. So I'm trying to darken it up the best I can with that colour. There we go. That's much better. Right. As you can see there, they look about the same. Hopefully. Alright, I'm going to take my hair <laughs> out of its velcro y thing, it always makes it stick up. Right, um, the foundation that I have used, well, I'll start with the um, primer and it's the uh, Maybelline Baby Skin one. And the foundation I used was the Maybelline Dream Flawless Nude. I haven't used this in absolutely ages. It's the one that you really need to shake and it's really, really liquidy. Um, and it has this strange applicator to put it on with. Um, what I did was dot that all around my face. And I actually used my fingers to actually apply um, this foundation. I feel that that foundation actually works better with my fingers than, than any brush or blending sponge that I found recently. And then I have used the... I can't find the lid. Oh, there it is. Um, Essence All About Matte Powder. I contoured with Bahama Mama from The Balm. And then I put a little bit of bronzer on my cheeks and around the airline and underneath my chin. And it's a physician's formula and it's the cashmere. Um, oh, I threw out the packet. It's the cashmere collection or something like that. Um, we should have kept the boxes. I re realised that. I wonder if they're still in the if they're still in the recycling bin. I might go and pinch them back out. But yeah, I warmed up my face with that. Um, it's a really really nice, nice um, like bronzing. That's a really really big swatch there. Um, It's no good for contour, but it does make a lovely, um, lovely bronzer to warm your face. Just got to, sorry, my phone. Do excuse me. It's my husband, he's out shopping. He probably wants me for something. Sorry about that. Um, where did I get to? Oh, um, blusher. I used the same, from the same um, line, I used the, um, the blush. And this is a really sort of lovely, lovely pink, pink shade. Um, 
you need to um it goes on quite light to start with and it's very very buildable um so that's really pretty and that's what i'm wearing and it's actually got um quite a bit of sheen in its blush itself but i am going to use this palette sorry about this men right <laughs> uh. right revolution palette I am going to um, take a little bit of I'm going to use a fluffy brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the middle one or I might actually use the first one actually tap it off I actually decided to use the first one <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit to the tops of my cheeks there and round in a C shape and then I usually take my finger and just blend that a little bit they are really really nice um, highlight powders these really nice if you see there really pretty and I'm going to take a little bit of that down the centre of my nose and just do a little bit at the top of the forehead there I'm going to do my cupid's bow I'm actually going to use my finger to do my cupid's bow Sorry, you can't see me, can you? I do apologise for that. Like that. And a tiny bit on my chin area. Just use my finger for that. And I think that's so pretty. Um, I'm going to pop my glasses on if I can find them. Really organised. And the lipstick I'm going to use um, is an NYX lip, what they call it, soft matte lip cream and it is in Prague. I'm going to attempt to do this without a lip liner because the one I've got out doesn't match. It's quite easy to use. It's good. It's a good. It's a good applicator. It's not too soft and squidgy. As you can see, you can get a quite a good line. And as you see, a little bit goes a long way. I just got a hair or something. And that has just gone. I haven't dipped back into the container. That was what was just on the, con on the wand when I brought it out. A try piece of skin, I think. That's it. Right. I've just gone back in. I'm just scraping off some, and I'm just going to go over the lip again. There we go. Just going to. Hopefully it won't get onto my 
teeth and I need to just pop touch up that um, highlight on the top lip just a tad can he use the brush There we go. I'll just lift you up. And I'll pop my glasses off and you can get a proper look. There. I really, really like how that has turned out. I hope you like it as well. I mean, I think for 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 one pound seventy seven, that is quite an amazing palette. You don't get a mirror. Actually, you don't always need a mirror in in every palette that you get. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing another look from there. I'll obviously I've done I've used the one colour um, that is different from everything else in there. But I'll I'll pick. A couple of the browns, and I'll and I'll do a matte brown look for you. Um, but I am really, really pleased with how it's turned out, and I'm really pleased with the palette. Um, and I quite like the lip colour with this as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope I do hope you like what I've created. And I will see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.